Okay, welcome. All right, I was asked the question, how can I create an alpha from um, multiple meshes inside ZBrush? So we're just going to look at that now. So what I've got here is just a basic ring. This has got about seven or eight subdivision levels, so it's quite high poly mesh. If I mouse over it, you can see it's um, pretty much eight million polygons. And you can also see here I've got a gavel and I've got a kind of base here. And I've also combined them here. Now I've done this for a reason. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here. And this is the quick way of doing an alpha. Is I'm basically going to come in here, I'm going to put this in the position I want the alpha. So notice I've got two subtools here. All right. So if I now go into alpha, I can just go to grab doc. And it's basically going to grab this document size. So if I mouse over this now, you can see this document size. It's 1120 by 840. I normally want alphas to be square. So generally, I would resize this doc to a square document. However, there is another way we can create this. So once we've created this, of course, I can go into something like drag rectangle, come into the ring base here, and I can then just drag that out on here. So this is method one which might do you fine. Okay, so I've dragged that out. You can see it's nice and clean in there and all looks good. Right, so um, method two is combining your tools. So you've got two tools combined. Now you need them to be combined to use this alpha um, grab here that I'm gonna do because it will actually put it into one tool. Well, you'll see in a second when I do it. So we're gonna come down to alpha here we're going to go from mesh and you're going to get this box pop up well this is really good this box because it does allow you to move the model around it also allows you to move it here and also rotate inside here to get an exact position you can also see that it's actually going to generate a square alpha which is exactly what we need and I can set this to a nice high resolution so 2k map and you can also recenter it and move it zoom it frame it do whatever you want so it's very cool let's just move it into the middle there so once you've done this and you've got this you can click ok and then straight away you've got another alpha so if i apply this one to this ring base here we've just got a standard brush i've got this one i've got the z grabbed one and i've got this new alpha so i'll grab this one out and you can see we can create quite a nice alpha that way I probably need to up my intensity here so let's just move this up a bit and you can see that it has created that and it's also given us this angle where it pushes out which is exactly what you want now if you want to kind of control this area and this area you can actually go into the brush and you can go on to the curve settings down here and you can just edit this curve so I could put this curve as more of a straight line now if I look across here you're going to get a different result based on the fact that you've changed that curve to a certain degree. Let me just go in and make a really big modification here. Okay, that's not actually affecting it. So I probably need to come under alpha and just modify it inside here. I can just turn that fall off off, maybe increase that strength and you can change things in here which will affect it as well so that's looking a lot better it's more pulled out so that's two ways that you can create it in there um, however if you use that last method and you've got two tools separated even though you've got them on and you were to come into alpha and then from mesh what you're going to see is only going to appear on one of these that's why I had to merge them together so the grab document would do whatever you see on here you could have multiple things open like this and using the grab doc method here which doesn't give you as much control um, you can come in here and just grab this as a document uh, like I said before if you do want it square you'll need to come down to the document and you'll need to change this so it's 2048 turn pro off 2048 then you resize your document, click yes. Then you'll need to zoom out here. And then you'll need to press control N to clear the canvas. Hold the control key, hit N. Drag your model out like this. 
And now if I put this in here like this and I do a grab doc with these two tools, you're going to see that it will appear instead of the document size I've got here, it will appear as 2K. So let's just do a grab doc of that. You can see if I mouse over it, it's now 2K. And again, you can apply that to the ring like this. Okay, so that's how you can create an alpha from geometry as a kind of flattened 2D geometry from 3D.